I'm going to introduce the clinical history of this lady who uh, was observed uh, in our department for a 10-day history of abdominal pain, melina and hematochesia. Uh, the patient did not have a family history of GI disease or malignancy. Uh, she had a hypertension, allergic asthma and uh, she underwent left mastectomy for breast cancer in 1998. She had no history of GI disease except for diverticula uh, discovered uh, in the sigmoid colon uh, 20 years ago with a barium enema. And the patient was taking anti-hypertensive drugs and ansiolytics. Uh, physical examination revealed a soft abdomen, only tender mainly on the left side. There were no palpable masses and uh, the patient has had no fever at the moment. The blood lab investigation showed mild anemia, an increase of erythrocyte sedimentation rate, C-reactive protein and uh, acid alpha-1 glycoprotein. I've been suffering for the last five months of abdominal pain, uh, but the last 10 days I found out uh, that I had some blood in my stools, then I got kind of scared. And I decided to be visited by Professor Costamagna. They told me that he had a new method to check the colon. So I was even a little bit curious, curious about this new method. And uh, I came here. The doctor explained everything about me, this new examination. At the time this lady came uh, to see me, we were involved uh, in the uh, MA53 study with the uh, column capsule, the European Multicenter Clinical Trial for the evaluation of Pilcom colon. Uh, the lady was uh, actually eligible to uh, participate uh, in trial and uh, she also was very interested and promptly agreed to uh, participate. Uh, this is the capsule, as you know it, it's a, a little bigger than the SB, the small bowel capsule. At the beginning I was kind of worried about this capsule because it seemed to be very, very big. But uh, really it was very easy to swallow it, there was no problem. More or less at around uh, in the afternoon, the beginning of the afternoon, 1.30, 2 o'clock, I don't know, I had the capsule uh, excreted um, and then I, I waited for later on have the real colonoscopy done. The colonoscopy was performed on the same day after capsule excretion. Uh, the findings of colonoscopy were surprising. Multiple ulcerations were detected in the rectum. The surrounding rectal mucosa was friable and diffusely inflamed and the colon had a normal mucosa uh, with a normal vascular pattern and lumen up to the proximal sigmoid. Uh, at that level there was uh, an inflamed and ulcerated stricture that made the progression of the colonoscope impossible. Few diverticula were also found in the sigmoid. Multiple biopsies uh, were of course performed in the rectum and at the side of the sigmoid structure. Women and men, generally speaking, they are kind of afraid of the colon um, examination. Uh, well, if in the future we can use just this method with the capsule, yeah, I think it's very good. The capsule endoscopy revealed the presence of uh, two polyps in the right colon, one small side polyp, less than 5-6 mm, which was suggestive of uh, some hyperplastic lesion and another bigger polyp, more than one centimeter, which was uh, suggestive for an adenomatous polyp. The two polyps were above the stricture and were therefore not visualized by the standard colonoscopy. In the left colon, colon capsule detected some small diverticula in an area with edema, hyperemia and multiple irregular ulcerations. Multiple ulcerations were also confirmed and detected in the rectum. The interest of this case is that uh, uh, standard colonoscopy uh, had been incomplete because of the presence of a sigmoid stricture, uh, whereas the Pilcam colon capsule allowed to perform the complete colonoscopy. Uh, 
PITCAM was able to detect the same findings as standard colonoscopy, but also to detect findings proximally to the structure not visualized by standard colonoscopy. Although several factors may explain the failure of a complete standard colonoscopy, the wider diameter of the colonoscope compared to the PITCAM colon capsule could represent a critical factor. Moreover, the colon capsule endoscopy does not inflate air and so the capsule travels in fluids that expand the colonic lumen and uh, this could uh, uh, represent an advantage uh, as the air does not uh, uh, create more uh, sharp angles. In any case, the colon capsule passed uh, through the structure uneventfully and allowed the diagnosis of two polyps that would have otherwise been missed. Furthermore, Pilcam colon capsule was as reliable as standard colonoscopy in detecting the polyps and ulcerations. So, the clinical, endoscopic and histologic features were suggestive of a Crohn disease. And the patient was therefore treated with metronidazole for one week and mesalazine and steroid enemas for five months. The two colonic polyps which were previously detected by the Pilcam colon had to be removed, of course. And so she therefore repeated uh, another colonoscopy uh, 20 weeks later, uh, which revealed an advanced healing process in the rectum mucosa and the sigmoid structure was completely resolved. So the two polyps were identified in the hepatic flexure and uh, were removed. Uh, the polyps were, as uh, seen by the capsule, more or less 6 mm and 12 mm. And the histopathologic examination showed that the first one, the smaller one, was a hyperplastic poly, and the uh, bigger one was a tubular villus adenoma with low grade dysplasia. Uh, the patient is now continuing medical treatment uh, and uh, up until now has not experienced any relapse. The patient is now in good clinical conditions and she will undergo an endoscopic follow up uh, uh, next year, 2009. Uh, I think that pilcal colon capsule could uh, represent a real alternative to standard colonoscopy in patients not willing or not able to undergo conventional colonoscopy or in case of incomplete standard colonoscopy. The idea of having this uh, colonoscopy in this way, I think it's a very nice way of having a colonoscopy because as I was saying before, People, generally speaking, are afraid of this examination and generally postpone it. So this is an, an easy way to have it checked. I would uh, suggest it to person who need to have the colon check, uh, checked because it's a very easy way to have it done.